Hey guys, today I'm doing a review on the Laura Geller powder. It's the Balance and Brighten Foundation in shade medium. This powder is beautiful. I just love the whole like marble effect and it's not just one solid color. I have a true combination skin. It's oily, but it's also very patchy and dry and flaky. So I kind of, you know, avoid powders. But Wayne Goss says it's a beautiful and it looked really nice on him. I think I'm going to use this guy because, I don't know, it seems like it would make a really nice powder foundation application. Here's my skin. See my pores and freckles, sun damage. You, you know the drill, you know the drill. You guys have seen my skin many, many times. Swirl them around, Oh, And what Wayne Goss did, he just kind of buffed it in his skin. Yeah, it's really dark. <laughs> I'll just put a light layer so it doesn't look crazy. There's like no dryness, you know, you know how powders tend to cling on to dry patchy skin like I have? This isn't clinging on to anything, so this is kind of impressive. See my pores on this side. Things are a little bit more even here, but I feel like I can see my pores still. I think this is very light coverage and it feels really nice. It's kind of like feels like skin it's not powdery or matte feeling so I kind of want to fill those pores in um, this powder doesn't do a really good job at filling the pores I think I'm gonna use this to embolise la crème concentrate that's how you say it let's go back to when we were young let's swirl I gotta say though this whole like buffing in with powder I feel like it's kind of a lot of work so I gotta make sure it's all evenly applied, you know? One side didn't prime my pores any more than the other, so I don't know, maybe it's just my skin and my pores that are not fillable with this foundation. Here's a side with primer. You can still see all of this darkness peeping through. I really like how my nose looks. It's not drying, patchy. I think it looks pretty nice. So far, I'm actually really impressed and blown away of how natural it looks, how it's very skin-like. Everything just applied so smoothly. I don't think anything looks drying, giving me this boost of radiance without it being too glowy. It was a very even application. It didn't patch up or become cakey. None of that. Now that I applied, you know, color back into my skin, blush, highlight, everything just looks so, it looks so beautiful. I mean, doesn't it look so fresh? That's what I like. I like natural looking products that offer a little bit of coverage, you know, evening out the skin tone. I'm okay with these dark spots and freckles still peeping through. It's kind of like a finishing and setting powder or alone use as a, a powder foundation, which makes this product very versatile in my opinion. If you wanna use it just as a finishing powder, just use like a less dense brush and just sweep it all over the face. Um, if you want more coverage out of it, use a denser brush like I use and just kind of buff it everywhere. You know, the product is thin enough to use it as a setting powder without it caking up and it'll give such a natural sheen to the skin and it's so beautiful. Can you guys see like the tip of my nose how it gave like a little like highlight? I didn't even apply a highlight, that's the powder. You can kind of see and get the feel of the finish that it gives by just looking at the tip of my nose. We'll check back within a couple of hours to see how this powder foundation is holding up as well as the makeup applied on top and we're going to see how well it controls my oils. It doesn't look like I have foundation on. It looks so, so natural. I am getting a more luminous but not that much. It hasn't settled into any of my fine lines. My pores still look the same and it hasn't sunken into my pores or exaggerated them at all. The forehead is getting a little bit more shiny. 
I noticed after I ate that the powder foundation just is kind of disappearing around my mouth. It probably just doesn't adhere to your skin as well as liquid foundations do. Liquid is a lot more adhesive to your skin. I feel like powder foundations would just like fly off your face. You know what I mean? Unless you use a primer. <laughs> so if you're one to like touch your face a lot or I don't know like... I don't know, you eat a lot. Maybe this foundation won't last. Wayne Goss raved about it for a reason, right? I should have known it was gonna be good. It hasn't like cracked or separated and look ugly yet. I'm happy with the light coverage that it provides. I think it's perfect. You can still see my freckles. You can see a little bit of redness, but it's all kind of evened out. My blush and bronzer still looks really nice. Doesn't look patchy or cakey at all. <sighs> I'm losing my breath here because I'm excited. I'm pretty sure I'm still gonna love it by the end of the day. I'm so excited to share my thoughts with you guys. Makes my skin look really hydrated and it's a powder foundation though, so that's kind of impressive. Rubbing off a little around the nose and cheek. My forehead is getting more oily, yes, as it does at the end of the day. Something very strange is happening. The powder foundation is oxidizing on my skin. My forehead looks really dark and you know, I really wasn't expecting this to happen. But then again, I am wearing the medium shade. This is my mom's. I was planning on getting this after doing this review and I still might buy it. Um, but I would get it in either porcelain or fair and I think that it would work for me even if it oxidizes. But I'm still not 100% sure because, you know, I haven't tested it out. Yet. I've only tested out medium. If you have any other questions, as always, make sure to comment below. And if not, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.